Today it's story time. Today we'll be reading the story of Wangari Mataya, a tiny seed, written by Nicola Rizjik and illustrated by Maya Mashak. In a village on the slopes of Mount Kenya in East Africa, a little girl walked in the fields with her mother. Her name was Wangari. Wangari loved being outside in her family's food garden, she broke up the soil with our machetes. She pressed tiny seeds into the warm earth. A favorite time of the day was just after sunset. When it gets too dark to see the plants, Wangari knew it was time to go home. She would follow the narrow path through the rivers back home. Wangari was a clever child and couldn't wait to go to school, but her mother and father wanted her to stay and help them at home. When she was seven years old, her big brother persuaded her parents to let her go to school. She liked to learn. Wangari learned more and more with every book she read. She did so well at school that she was invited to study in the United States of America. Wangari was excited. She would. She wanted to know more about the world. At the American University, Wangari learned many new things. She studied plants and how they grow, and she remembered how she remem um, she grew, playing games with her brothers in the shades of the trees in the beautiful Kenya forest. The more she learned, the more she realized that she loved the people of Kenya. She wanted them to be happy and free. The more she learned, the more she realized she wanted to go back to her African home. When she had finished her studies, she returned to Kenya, but her country had changed. Huge farms stretched across the land. Women had no wood to make cooking fires. The people were poor and the children were hungry. Wangari knew what to do. She taught the women how to plant trees from seeds. The women sold the trees and used the money to look after their families. The women were very happy. Wangari had helped them to become powerful and strong. As time passed, the new trees grew into forests and the rivers started flowing again. Wangari's message spread across Africa. Today, millions of trees have grown from Wangari seeds. Wangari had worked hard. People all over the world took notice of what she did and gave her a famous prize. It is called the Nobel Peace Prize. And she was the first African woman ever to receive it. Wangari died in 2011, but we can think of her every time we see a beautiful tree.